Some of the biggest challenges that we face at Marmot is the actual connectivity from branches to branches. We have a fairly extensive archival collection. The reason that we have an MT sensor is due to their historic collection that they store in the basement, and they have been prone to floods in the past. Probably 90 to 95% is one of a kind. Most of our photographs we don't have copies of. Once we receive a collection, we have a digital archive, and so I'm able to scan photographs and documents and upload those so that they're uh, publicly accessible. The decision to go with the Maraki sensor was a little bit of serendipity. The library recently underwent uh, an expansion and renovation project. Near the start of the project, they cut into where we had our old book drop where, where patrons could return books, and they exposed the sprinkler head. While attempting to turn the sprinkler off, Somebody had hit the sprinkler head and it burst, and that's when we discovered the holes in the ceiling. And so we opened the door and water was just coming in everywhere. It was, it was a bit of a nightmare. Our IT team is a two hour drive away, so we would never know. The impact is really just immeasurable if, if there was anything lost. And so the situations that occurred, uh, there weren't any permanent losses, but it was very close. So the sensor we had before was actually in our main knot. It was not up at Eagle. We had no protection and we had no way of knowing if there was any flood or any moisture in that room at that time. The MT-12 was pretty easy to install. My colleague, Jason, uh, went on site with the new upgraded access point as well as the MT sensor. And I was at our main office and the two of us were able to coordinate the installation. It took about an hour, a little bit less. Plugged it in, stuck it on the shelf and Away we went. The rapid deployment and ease of configuration of the Meraki networking has opened up so many possibilities. With the actual sensor, we have an alert system set up where it alerts us at Marmot, as well as a few key staff in Eagle. I love the ability for them to send SMS messages to multiple people. It's invaluable, especially when a flood is happening, um, to get the message out to as many people as possible. I would like to see more of these sensors, in particular in our main knock, as well as a few of our other branches that are prone to water or temperature issues. One of the other challenges that we have is with library technology, there's a lot of security that needs to be put into place, but a lot of freedom that needs to be given to our patrons. So it's trying to strike that balance between security and accessibility. Some of the biggest challenges that we face at Marmot is the actual connectivity from branches to branches. And the Meraki firewalls enabled us to tie those all together with site-to-site -to -site VPNs. We started using Meraki access points back in 2011. We were looking for a replacement of some really duct taped together hotspot uh, wireless access solutions. Prior to using Meraki products, we, we had very disparate uh, system. We had routers that we had to directly uh, configure. At Marmot we use 42 MX firewalls and we have 62 MS switches as well as 104 MR access points. The Meraki cloud platform really made it easy for us to web configure all these different locations. Geographically speaking, they're all over Colorado. And so for us to have to physically go on site for anything that we needed, we might have to do was really prohibitive for us to be effective. And the web interface lets us manage these devices all remotely.